Welcome back to Sports Center's coverage of the NBA Finals. The Los Angeles Lakers are NBA champions once again. And congratulations, first of all, to Magic Johnson, our colleague and the greatest Laker ever who was tied tonight <laughs> by not only Kobe Bryant. You know, we keep saying Kobe can Derek tie Magic. Fisher. Derek, Derek Fisher, Fisher well. also tied Magic Johnson. Guys, it was game seven. And Magic, as you said, game seven is what? Oh, man, it's just this was so exciting. Give the Boston Celtics a lot of credit. They he held the lead for almost three and a half quarters. And I tell you, Kobe Bryant showed his greatness tonight and showed why he's a special player because he struggled from the field, six for 24. But in the fourth quarter, he scores 10 points. And then JB pulls down 15 rebounds. The man is special. He's great. And he, I talked to him down on the floor, and he said, Irvin, this was the hardest championship <laughs> I ever had to win. I said, when you play the Boston Celtics, it's always going to be hard. And he found that out tonight. Let's take a look at it, how it all went down from here in Staples Center. Game 7, the 17th Game 7 in NBA Finals history. The Celtics 4-0 all-time against the Lakers in Game 7 of the Finals. But as we all know, Kendrick Perkins out for Game 7. Two of the greatest big men ever, Bill Russell and Cremo Do Jabbar in attendance. You know, Doc Rivers, your thoughts. Now, we're going to come back and we're going to have this reunion party. And when we shake hands, let's make sure our rings touch. First quarter, Kobe guarded by Ray Allen, then double teamed by Paul Pierce. Kobe, nowhere to go, hits the side of the backboard. But JB, what happens when Kobe is triple teamed? Well, I thought he forced the issue early. And this time, with three guys around him, he had to pass the basketball. Should have on that other double team. But the Laker ball movement in game six was much better than it was here in game seven. In the first quarter, though, Celtics up two. Ray John Rondo starts doing work. Magic, why is he so effective? Well, because he's a patient point guard who always looks first to pass. And you saw KG for the dunk right there. And then he comes right back. And that little ball fake into Big Baby for another two. Celtics up seven. Under 20 seconds left in the first. Lakers down nine. Kobe double teamed again. Jumper from the corner. Air ball. Kobe just three points on one of seven shooting in the first quarter. The Celtics close out the first with a 13-3 run. They're up 23-14. Second quarter. Lakers down two. Ron Artest makes a steal. Wilbon, what do you think about the way Artest played today? He, looked, he was great. I mean, he was a leading scorer for more than three quarters into the fourth quarter of the game. And, of course, I, I presume later we're going to see Ron Artest hit perhaps the biggest shot of his career. That tied it at 23. Next Celtics possession. Ball goes out of bounds in the sidelines. Kevin Garnett goes to look for it. And Kevin Garnett dives right past Jack Nicholson. Where's the help, Jack? Gee, <laughs> bailed out on him. Oh, uh, there's the help. He kind of, you know, Jack kind of gave that a little bit. Kobe slips, puts up the shot. The shot clock winds down. Artest there for the putback. Lakers with an 11-0 run. They take a two-point lead. But later in the second, Lakers down two. Paul Gasol drives and Rashid Wallace. Big boy game with a block. Under two to go. Ray Allen finds Paul Pierce. Holler! The finals MVP from two years ago gives the Celtics a seven-point lead. Next Laker possession. Artest fouled underneath by Pierce. They tangle and get into it just a bit. What happens here, JB? Well, it looked like Ron Artest tried to lock Ron Artest's arm up there, but double technical, which the NBA needs to take a look at. Enough of this double technical. Find the culprit, hit him, or don't hit either hit of them at all. Don't be late yeah, about on. it. Find the guy who started it. Lakers down five after the free throws. Under 20 seconds up in the half. Kobe puts up a tough three, comes up short. Kobe and Paul Gasol shot a combined six for 26 in the first half. That's why the Lakers were down six. Third quarter, Lakers down six. Kobe. Kept trying. Deep contested three. Misses that. Back the other way. Kevin Garnett's going to get the pass underneath. Garnett came up large too, Magic. Yeah, he played great. 18 and I think it was 17 and uh, three. But what I love about him, he played great defense as well on Gasol all night long. Rajon Rondo drives and flips it in right over Derek Fisher. Timeout Lakers, Celtics lead 47 to 36. Now with eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the third, Celtics up 11. Paul Pierce misses the jumper. Rondo grabs the rebound and banks it in. How does he make this play, JB? Well, he's got such great instincts. Look at him come from the weak side here. He's got long arms, always seems to be right around the basketball. And again, he picks it up and is able to finish in the paint. He's six foot one. His wingspan is six feet nine. Later in the third, Kobe drives, hangs, turns it over the other way. Rondo finds a wide open Paul Pierce. Pierce pulling up for three. 
Booyah! Paul Pierce had 18 points, Celtics by nine. Later in the third, Shannon Brown misses inside. Lamar Odom there for the putback. Lakers within four. Between quarters, Phil Jackson's like, what's up with Kobe? I, I just think, you know, we've been talking to Kobe about trying to do too much. Off the dribble, he's got to do more with a live ball, off ball. Fourth quarter, Powell Gasol scores inside, draws the foul, missed the free throw. Garnett, bucket down low. What, about, what did you say it was? Kind of like a what? A prize fight. And, and the Celtics, you could see them running out of energy. They were like a prize fighter early in the 15th and just didn't have any more. There's the Garnett play. Timeout Lakers, Doc Rivers giving his bench a pep talk. If you want this, go get it, all right? Go get it. Go get it. Keep pushing the ball up the floor. 7.30 to go. Lakers down three. Ron Artest gets the pass underneath. Artest doing crazy work the entire game. We are tied at 61 after the free throw. Just over a minute later, Derek Fisher. As classy as classy gets as a man and bringing it from the three-point line. We are tied at 64. 5.30 to go. Finally, Magic Kobe starts connecting. Well, you know, he had 10 points in the fourth quarter. He started heating up a little bit. And also, not only hitting his jump shot, but start attacking the, the basket as well. Lakers by four timeout. Celtics, the Laker bench is freaked. Just about three minutes left. Rasheed Wallace finds Garnett underneath. Big fella, big ticket. Rocking the Rams. Celtics within three. Under two to go. Celtics down four. Paul Pierce drives, block, loose ball. Wallace tries to save it, but is out of bounds. What did you like about Rasheed's effort, though, in this game, JB? I thought he was terrific. I, I thought he got fatigued late in the third, early in the fourth, but he gave a great effort on the defensive end and knocked down a huge three, as we'll see later. Kobe talked about the Spaniard post game. He told me that this guy was playing Paul, Paul Gasol underneath. The, Gasol's feet, though, touched the ground before he got the shot off. A little travel you're Look suggesting, like. Stewart? I'm suggesting it could have been called that way, but it was not. Next Celtics possession. Rashid, the impossible three-pointer. How can you be 6 foot 11 at range like that? This is the best stretch of the game right here. Next Laker possession. Holler! Ron Artest, a three to answer. Lakers back up six. Next Celtics possession. Right, really? Really? Well, unbelievable. I tell you, Stewart, what a minute <laughs> of basketball. I mean... The, actually, the best part of the game was the last minute of it. Kobe misses from three. Gasol gets the board back to Kobe. Kobe drives and is fouled. Lakers lead 81 to 76. It's a tight ball game with under a minute left. Next Celtic possession. Ray Allen misses from three. Rondo the rebound. Rondo can't shoot threes, right? That's what they say, but he made that one. Right, when you don't have to think about it, you can make them. Celtics within two, 81 to 79. After a foul, Sasha Vujicic at the line, makes the first, makes the second. Four-point lead for the Lakers, 11.7 seconds left. Check out Kobe. All passion, all emotion. And then showing love to Sasha Vujicic. Next Celtic possession. Rondo, you saw him hit that three, pulls up for another three. This one does not go down. Lakers come up with the rebound, and that is it ball game championship season back-to-back -back championships for the los angeles lakers they repeat and win the 2010 nba finals 83 to 79 magic you and i were standing under the tunnel waiting to do the post game trophy ceremony what did you think as a laker when the clock went to triple zeros well i just said Woo. <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's all you can say it's like what a series and you know who I'm happy for? Uh, I'm happy for the Los Angeles Lakers, no question about it, but I'm happy for the league. The league is back. When you have two teams that played their hard out, Michael, and left it all out on the court, I mean, you, you can't say nothing but say, hey, congratulations, Celtics, for putting up, uh, putting up a great fight and also to the world champion Lakers because this was an awesome series. But that's a third quarter score when Magic Johnson was <laughs> on the court. So we need want one more quarter because that last few minutes was awesome. Yes, it was. Kobe Bryant, 23 points, 15 rebounds. Powell Gasol, again, he does it so quietly. Are you kidding me? 19 points, 18 rebounds, and to top it off, he gets a post-game interview with Hannah Storm.